Hey guys and welcome to another R&D series with particles. So let's get started. So I've got here a simple scene with some cameras. Let's just delete them for now here. And a simple redshift setup. And let's place down a geometry here. And let's call this particles. Let's make it black and round, something like that. And let's dive inside with E, I, sorry. <laughs> and you can dive up with U, or just double click. And let's create our first particles here. So let's get the viewport to dark for the beginning and let's, let's create a sphere for now. Or let's create let's create a grid for now. Let's make it one by one and two by two columns here, rows and columns two by two. So we get this simple polygon here. So and we got normals. So let's use the normals to get the velocity. So first let's get a pop network here, and we will get something like this. So nothing especially just particles emitting onto the surface. So, but now when we type here, let's type here something. Let's get um, at n equals at n and then we can, we can get v at v for velocity equals at n. Let's get this down here. And when we plug this into, we will see the particles will rise up. So we get something like this. So like a particle stream or a beam, something like that. So now we can, let's disable this for now. And let's dive into the popnet. So double click. And we will get something like this here. We get a source, we get a pop object, and a solver, and of course our output. So let's play with something here. So this is currently on a constant activation with 5000 particles. When we change this to 25, we will get 25 particles. Then we can disable these two here and let's get an impulse count. And let's make this dollar $f for frame equal equals 1. Whoops. 1. So we only emit on the first frame. So what we can do now is here pre-solve. Let's get a wind in here. So pop wind. Let's place the pop wind down. And nothing happens. Why? Because we need the velocity and the amplitude. So let's just dial the amplitude up to 1. And you can see something like that. Let's enable here the real time toggle. And you will get these swirling particles. Pretty cool for maybe a bokeh effect. Or let's try something else. Let's get a trail here. Let's make polygon close rows off and evaluate in um, that uh, within frame range on and let's make this 240. So we will get something like this. So now you can dial up here the impulse cone maybe to 25 and you will get something like this. Like these growing lines but let's let's say we want to grow them up but we want to get some noise that's pretty easy we only need to change here the wind velocity to one and maybe like make here 0 0.5 and let's get an offset here in so we will get something like this growing lines up 
And with these you can already make cool stuff. Maybe an abstract tree or corals, something like that. So you can easily scatter something on it or maybe just take a polywire poly wire to get a thickness. get something like this. So now let's disable the trail for a moment and let's dive inside again. So now let's let's get here in pop stream. Pop stream and let's get a pop color and let's merge them back together. And let's make this by bounding here. Enable, okay, that's good. So stream pop stream one. The name comes here from the stream name. So we can let's change this to just call it more wind. So we got here the stream more wind, 25 points. And let's create a bounding box here. And let's take the bounding box up. And let's, you can see, uh, it's not a good color here. Let's make it wrecked. So now the points will be affected with the bounding box and they will become a pop stream or it's just like a group. And they will be affected and these will be not affected. So now you can place down here a pop wind. Let's disconnect this. And let's take the amplitude here really high. So let's make two and but let's make it not so fast. So 0 0.5. And now you can see something like this. So the particles dive up will get affected and they will get the bigger amplitude by the bounding box. So now you can control different streams with bounding boxes or with a simple wax code. And you can get another velocity onto it or color or something else, another p-scale. And let's change here this a little bit. Let's let's get a wind faster to see it more clearly. So let's dive up and bam, they will get higher. So let's let's change this to two point five. Two point five. That's okay. Let's let's take three here. One point two five roughness. One point seven five. Let's get this pop wind down to zero, eh, uh, this amplitude, sorry, to 0 0.25. And let's just have a look on the trail here. So we will rise up, we will get into the bounding box, and we will get something like this. So now you can clear the color here. Just place the color sub down. And you will get this here, this little effect here. It's already pretty cool. Now let's change the wind direction here. Two, maybe two. to get something like this. That's pretty nice. So let's get not a grid, let's get here a simple sphere. And let's get the velocity back from the normals. I think so no one will be affected. Oh, okay. 
Let's make the bounding box bigger. And let's get a trail here. So we will get something like this. Pretty cool too. Here in the beginning you can merge back to sphere for example. And give it normals to get something like this. And let's just play here a little bit. So let's get let's get a gradient on each of these lines here. So let's let's get a resample here. Let's get it here. Let's just freeze the output for now. And let's resample the curves here. And let's get a curve view. So with the curve view, you will get a value from 0 to 1. You will get here the curve view, and it's just a ramp. So you will get this for free with the resample. And you can visualize it. Go to the node info button here, and let's press just curve view. And you will see it's a value from 0 to 1. So now disable the visualizer and let's get a simple warp here attribute warp let's bind in, so import the curve view curve view let's ramp it let's get a spline ramp here and let's bind it out Bind export to let's call it let's call it scale. Let's create a polywire. Polywire. Let's get here the wire radius at scale. And it's currently zero, so let's dial this up. And let's for now get um, multiply here. And let's get a parameter, so we can make an overall scale. So let's change this to uh, mult, mult uh, scale, mult underscore scale. Whoops. And let's get here mult scale. So we have here a multiplier for our scale. That's pretty handy. So let's make this here a little bit bigger. Let's start a little bit bigger on the beginning. Let's get here a value from 1.5 and 1.85. And in the middle, so let's create a point at 0 0.5. So just to the middle. Let's dial this value a little bit up, something like that. Let's select all and make a B-spline. So it's pretty smooth. And let's dial this point a little bit more down to get something like this. And now we can merge them together to get something like this alien looking thing here pretty cool so let's now re let's remesh it maybe let's dial the divisions a little bit up and let's get a VDB down VDB from polygons let's make 0 0.05 for now Let's make a convert. And we need a high resolution to pi uh, one maybe. Yeah, one is pretty good. So let's get a let's get a pretty massive smooth after that. Pretty pretty dense here. So let's make two point five. Yeah, I think that's enough. Let's get more 
a little denser sphere here to get something like this. And let's get a filter quality down to 1 and let's move it with 250 maybe to get something really organic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's not bad. Let's select these here. And let's see what we got. We can make... Let's try a little setup here. So let's get a null here. Place it down. Let's make... Let's call this out. Oh my god. Let's call this... Alien thing stuff <laughs> something like that <laughs> let's call it out alien so now let's dive up and I already said here a little redshift setup so let's clear this out here don't need that let's dive into a camera here and let's get a cool angle here. Let's have a look here. Let's get a focal length of maybe... Let's get a wide angle. To get something like this here maybe. Or from this side. Something like that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So now we got a free camera here. Let's get higher resolution here. Let's enable the depth of field. Let's get the focus distance. Let's press right click, copy parameter. And let's just use it here. Paste relative reference. So we get in reference to the focal uh, to the focus distance so now we can now we can get here the free cam and R&D rendering those effects okay that's everything normal so let's just dive in here and let's get a redshift network down. Let's call this Mad Alien. Let's make it purple. And let's get here the material in. So let's place down the material here. Let's call this Mad. Press Shift and W to get this little window here so it's it's a tree viewer and let's drag and drop whoops that's the wrong the mat alien into the material or you can just click here and get to your redshift mantra or octane random man material network and pick the material and press accept it's the same thing so now we can dive up and let's just hit here the render view from redshift and we will get something like this. So let's get, let's get a simple uh, light dome here. Let's get a simple light dome. So let's get simple HDRI map here. Let's get maybe the studio HDRI. So it's of course out of focus. Let's get a focus button here and let's refocus it. And the focus is way too... so let's dial this down to 0 0.1 maybe. 
let's get to the original size. Let's leave it like 0 0.1. That's good for now. And let's get an anamorphic lens here a little bit. So let's create. I just move this to the side for now and let's create here a little material. Let's make this window a little bit bigger. Air as material. So now we get something like this here. I make this like so. So and now you can play with the presets maybe. Oh glass. N looks, looks not bad either. So tinted glass. That looks really nice. That looks looks pretty sick. <laughs> so let's get yeah uh, water. Water is water. Plastic. Aluminium. Chopper. Gold. Golden alien spaceship. Organic spaceship. Something like that. Milky coffee. Oh, that looks. So that looks like now like a virus or a bacteria. So you can play here with the. Let's get here a little. Something like that. Let's refresh here. IPR. So let's get an SSS here. Subsurface scattering material. Let's plug that in. Let's get the reflections. Oh, let's make the glossiness so glossy. So now you can play here with the with the sub surface color and the scatter color. So let's get here maybe an orange to get something like greenish. That looks not so good. Let's get a simple curvature here to create two materials. Let's dial down the radius here. Let's get a little bit more samples here. We can get convex and concave and we can merge them, but let's for now get a material blender. Air as material blender. Let's get a simple air as material here. For the base color, let's plug this in. And let's get let's get the milky coffee back. I really like this. Oh no. Uh maybe maybe let's use the tinted glass. Yeah, let's use the tinted glass. So let's make this 0 0.25 to get it a little bit more rough. Get the focus again. And now you can get here the same material in to the blend color. Let's make it another, let's make it blue here. And let's get here the blend in. Oh. Wrong input, right input. And now you can blend between these two materials. You can see it a little bit with the curvature map. So let's get this here maybe to aluminium. So you get here aluminium around these. Or you can let's get let's get gold. Let's reload this here. Let's change it to fixed scaling for a little bit faster rendering. And of course you can go out, redshift, output, denoise and enable the optic X denoiser. Let's have a look on this. It's not bad. 
The red color is pretty cool in my opinion, so the <laughs> pretty much the default material. Let's get a curvature not to come in cave, to convex, and we will get something like this here. That's pretty cool too. So let's change it back to our original scale. And let's just for now disable the denoise engine. Yeah, that's that's not bad. And now you can play of course with the materials. So let's get here another color let's make. Oh that looks pretty cool too. Let's make it. So now you can see the ends will get glassy. Let's refresh here and let's get this back to concave. And let's just create another camera here. Let's get this camera to a long focal length for something like 200 millimeters. And let's get here in. Let's get another perspective. So right now the, uh, the render view is on the other side of the window. I will get it back soon guys. But I just want to try out some settings here. Let's get 0.25 here. Let's get a focus point. Something like here. Zero point five. Let's have a look. So a little bit defocus, that's good. And <laughs> we will get something like this. So yeah, pretty cool too. Let's let's rearrange the camera here because this is a little bit cut off here. So let's get here. So we will get fast out of focus. So let's rearrange the focus button. So you can go here to customize shortcuts and get here um button for some reason and you can just pick the focus but I like just to click it and let's make it the default so now you can play here with bloom and glare and st stuff like that or you can load in a lot here that's not bad So let's play. So let's copy it just just sometimes. Not many particles. Not many particles here. So let's let's copy it in a, in a defocus way. So let's get here transform. And let's copy this one behind this. And let's turn it a little bit. And one behind this and so let's turn it a little bit again and let's merge them together here to get something like this maybe this will look cool maybe not yeah let's get this a little bit further back here something like that so we got yeah 1.9 million particles. That's that's okay for now. Let's save this quick and let's get a render view here. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Okay. 
and we will get something like this. Let's play with the camera again. So you can let's let's just switch to the free cam. I think this looks better. Let's just get the focus on this one here. And for sure you can play with instances and make an uh, alien army out of this. Something like that. And <laughs> it's pretty cool I think for this short amount of time. And uh, let's just play again a little bit with the materials. Let's get let's get here. This is gold for now. Yeah, yeah, but I like the gold. I really like the gold. Let's get Yeah, that's a whole different look here. Aluminium. Maybe let's get a tinted glass and Oh the blue looks really really cool too in in my opinion. So let's change the curvature just back to convex. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Not bad. <laughs> so let's change this back. Get a material from the beginning. And that's it guys. I hope you like this little video about R&D series. Fun with little particles, little bit VDB modeling and a little bit attribute workflow with curveview and I will see you in the next video. So have a nice day and bye.